Well, the book Uniting Mississippi begins with a look at what the author calls a catch-22, the difficulty of addressing problems of poverty without fixing issues of education first and vice versa. And here to talk about his book, Uniting Mississippi, Democracy and Leadership in the South, we have professor and author Dr. Eric Thomas uh, Weber down from uh, Ole Miss. Good to see you, Dr. Weber. Welcome to the Mississippi Coast. We appreciate it. Thank you talk you about virtuous here. democratic leadership. What does that mean? Good. So leadership in the tradition has often been studied as something authoritarian. And in the democratic era, evidently, we need to get over those kinds of hang-ups. And so we need to think about what are the virtues of leadership. And those in the tradition included wisdom, courage, moderation, and justice. And we also need to think of those democratically. So instead of forcing people, it needs to be about guiding and joining others for the ride, so to speak. Well, it's a great concept, of course, and uniting Mississippi, I mean, that's important, but doesn't the whole U.S. need to be united, really? It seems like there's so much polarization. Oh, are we just a microcosm? Of that's that? actually the next project I'm, I'm presently working on has to do with going to the national level. But I think you kind of concentrate on the South, because the South Indeed. and Mississippi, if you look at virtually every significant uh, measure, measurement, when it comes to socioeconomic issues, there's Mississippi on the bottom of the uh, ladder every time. Well, that's right. So as you said, there, is, there are challenges to overcoming that problem, which are both in education and in poverty. And so it seems as though we can't get either of them resolved because it seems like you need one to fix the other and, and vice versa. And yet it seems to me both of those problems are rooted, especially in a culture of division that we have pretty intensely in Mississippi. And I think that when you look at the culture and you work on the culture, that's where we can make inroads to make progress, is trying to work on thinking about how we're all part of the same team. And Imagine a football team in which you know the the quarterback doesn't want to throw to the receiver. I mean, because they're not united, you're not going to get very far down the field. So if you want to make progress, you have to have towns over here caring about how the kids are doing in towns over there. And that's why I think one of the crucial virtues that I mentioned, which is moderation, is vital, especially in Mississippi, because that's how you keep differences from pulling us too far apart. Moderating differences helps us see how much we have in common and, and the values we share so that we can try and make ourselves united in pursuing well, progress in Mississippi. Kind of, how, do you get up, how do you go about doing that, though? So there's a lot of ways you do that. Uh, among others, are basically communication is, is crucial. You need people to be able to talk to each other, to see each other. We can ma make use of online tools. I believe that religious groups have potential to show a lot of commonality across difference. We can make a lot of inroads there. So that's not the, the public sector. It's the, it's the, the church sector, the, non, the private sector sector but at the same time uh, I think we can make progress in all of those areas and so it can uh, really start with the individual can it I mean it does it does start with the individual but then of course it applies at the larger level so I think that's why we need to think about both those levels and work on the culture bringing us together I think we can make progress already we certainly hope so it sounds like uh, an ideal way of looking at Mississippi America and the world I hope so. Uh, you and where is your book, book available? Um, oh, yes. I'm doing a book signing right after this interview at the West Biloxi Public Library. Bay Books from Bay St. Louis is going to come and, and uh, uh, sell the books for me. But also they're going to be available here at Southern Bound uh, Bookshop in, uh, here in Biloxi as well as in Ocean Springs. So it'll be in all three of those places, eventually Bay St. Louis as okay, well. Okay, great. United Mississippi. Uh, thank you, Dr. Weber, Thank for you so much for us. having me.